Hey guys, welcome to Remothered Tormented Fathers. My name is Sowak and I'll be Rosemary for the next half hour or so. It's been a while since I've played a horror game on my channel, but uh, this one was suggested to me, so I thought I'd check it out. I don't know too much about the game, just a brief glimpse of what was on the Steam store, which is not very smart if you think about it as a consumer, but it definitely piqued my interest enough for me to grab a copy. I just know that it is a survival third-person horror, uh, and we play as a woman named Rosemary. I'm guessing it's the woman in front of your screens right now. Uh, we all know my history with horror games is pretty bad. It makes me swear a lot and scares the shit out of me. But you know what? For your entertainment, certainly not for mine, <laughs> we will play through another scary game. Uh, without further ado, let's dive in. Because since I have no idea what else to tell you about this game, let's see how it plays out, shall we? New game. Empty slot. Here we go. Okay, the tutorial, what are the controls? Walk, run, shift, crouch, C, control, flashlight is space. Okay, interesting. Uh, interact, left click, dodge, ooh, dodge. F, inventory, I, diary, looks to be tab, name all the door, place diversion. I'm not gonna memorize all this, but I think I know the basics, so let's continue, I guess. So, is it all true? What have you heard already? That illness, it thickened the bones, it accelerated the healing process and tissue regeneration. Is that all true? Every word. But if that's what it was doing, why call it an illness? The Lepidopterans made a nest out of the human body where they could eat and multiply. Ooh. An illness is what it is. But then? Where do you want me to start? From the beginning. Uh, I'm old, Mr. Manny. My memory is not one of my strong points. Well, for example, why do they call you Madame Svenska? A name is just a trace. It is our business card, our identifier. It presents us to the world. But does it tell our story or really describe who we are? I swear, I know three or four idiots with the same exact name. <laughs> well, yes. But we are not made of that name. It is given to us. Other people choose it for us, whether it suits us or not. It doesn't tell us who we really are. That name will not give us any answers. It is only through growing old that we become the answer to the questions of our childhood. And living in Sweden the last 30 years has definitely inspired this affectionate moniker. And so, Madame Svenska, it is. And yet you come back to Italy. Why? Because I forgot. But I also forgot that I had promised to remember. Tell me. Please excuse me. Sometimes my memory needs to be jogged. There's always been a song that, as well as the name you refer to so much, has labeled my whole life, has given it a name, and it's from a name. If you can believe how bizarre and sometimes unbelievable my confused memories are to describe that all this began. Go. Missing lost child Celeste Felton. Well, that doesn't bode very well, does it? Goodness. So cinematic. That doesn't bode well for the horror element for me. I hope you're all watching with the lights off and the volume up. It's the only way to watch or play horror games, unfortunately. Looks more like a cement pit than a sand pit, but maybe that's the fashion or style. Mm. 
And here our story begins. I wonder if this is Madame Svenska. I won't presume. And unfortunately I cannot read Italian. Curious, curious. Oh dear. God's not happy that she's smoking, I guess. My God! That went from zero to a hundred really fast. Okay. Well, already I'm breathing hard. Guess. Feels like it's gonna rain again. What gave that away? The ominous lightning. Well, we're in control, I guess. Here we go. Reach the residence of Dr. Felton. Alright. So this is us. We can sprint. That's good. Good to know. Missing. This is what we saw earlier. This is very similar to Until Dawn, isn't it? Missing since Thursday, October 14th, 1971. Last seen 4pm at Recreation Ground End. Blah, blah, blah. Is bark blur card blur. Date of birth February 8, 1958. Female, white, 13 years, light blonde hair, blue eyes. At last, dr uh, I'm guessing at last, at last sight. Wearing a white dress with bows, white shoes, and tressed hair. Persons, any information are requested to call. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. So we've got two options. We can go down that way, or we can go down this way. This way looks shorter because there's a fence, so we'll go down this way before we proceed on that way. Let's sprint. I guess it's awkward to sprint on heels, so we wouldn't want to twist an ankle. That wouldn't uh, do us any good in terms of survival later on. Hello. Nope, no way to open this fence, I guess. So maybe we did choose the right path in terms of exploration. Let's keep moving. Anything else? There's a white dot. Skiers. Sears? Cut here, cut there. Sears, on screen, October 31st, 1971. So we are in the 70s. Just to confirm. Okay, we got some trash. Nothing down that way. Hey, doggy. Let's move. Since we can't go through this fence, I'm guessing we're going to need to go around the corner. This is awkward, sprinting like this. Oh, she's breathing heavy already, that's... That just does so much for it. Oh, there's another path that way? Goodness me, there's a lot to explore. Anything around the van before we move on? Just checking, making sure we got everything on lockdown. Can we zoom out, or is this as close as we can get? I think she's about to have a heart attack. Too bad, lady. We need to move. You need to get your cardio up before the scary stuff starts. We'll go down this way now. Not that way? Alright, fair enough. This way, then. I'm guessing that's where we drove down from. This is a very narrow alleyway. We did well to get that big van in. Oh, dear. It's smoking. Kids, don't do it. Unless you run out of breath just running down the road. Okay, I'm guessing this is the entrance. Let's just check this way. Probably gonna get turned around here. Run, run, run. Oh, the 
dog. Sounds like it's just over the fence here. Okay, so we can keep running all the way to the end. That's good. Maybe that's not good. Maybe this is where we're supposed to go. In which case I should attempt to ring the doorbell. Nope, never mind. We managed to get all that way just for it to tell us not this way. Great. Let's run all the way back. Like I said, this is good exercise for you. I'm guessing your name is Rosemary. So, you know, get your fitness level up. Hope you got your Fitbit on. We'll be counting the steps. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not an intruder. I'm the visitor. Just come to say hi. Dr. Richard Felton and Associates, notary study. At least you stopped puffing. Yes, hello. I'm Dr. Reed from the Santa Margarita Institute. I'm sorry, but Mr. Felton is no longer a patient. I know. This is why I'm here. Hello? Uh, anyone? Coolio. That's just great. Been denied entry. I always feel anxious when looking at some icons. Icons and mirrors. Yeah, well, this one should bring you some comfort and peace. Okay, so we've been denied at the doorbell. I'm guessing this is locked. No, it's not. We're just going to intrude, even though there's a barking dog and they have interesting outdoor decor in terms of the statue. Okay. This is not a good idea. Get inside the mansion and meet Dr. Felton. I don't know, she told us to go away. Alright, what do we got here? He's got a nice little garden, doesn't he? Nice big mansion. Quite open, I must say. Oof, that hurts my eyes, especially in the dark. Sitting here. Okay, just more plants, I guess. Nothing really to explore. Ooh, what's that? Let's get a little table set up. Anything here? Nope. Let's just uh, clip some flowers off. Some coil. This is the other fence we were looking at. Alright, so there was a path down the garden. I hardly think we'll be welcome through the front door. If I can even find the front door, my goodness me, this place is overgrown with plants. Is it trying to recreate the Mayan Empire? Looks very uh, Central American. <laughs> even though we are out in Italy, I'm guessing. Okay, this is his front door. At least knock. Okay, good. Hello? The gate was open. Are you there? <laughs> That's no excuse. Hello? Is anyone there? If the front door is open, you don't just knock it open. What was that noise? Sound like someone stole my van. Okay, never mind. Alright, let's go down that path we saw earlier. Because, you know... Home invasion is clearly the objective of this game. Alright, thank god it's the neighbor's dog. Let's move on. This is an interesting mansion. It's all barred up and everything. Is this even a mansion? I don't know. I'm nervous. Something's just gonna jump out, isn't it? I swear. Ooh, run. Okay, there's a ladder. Guess he's a peeping Tom. No wonder he was committed to the Institute. Okay. Awesome. Yep, this isn't sus at all. Hello. Definitely anguishing. Yep. Why 
would you come to this place by yourself? I hope someone knows you're here. It's the Simonies as well, like, come on. Serial killers abound. We had bloody Ted Bundy, John Wayne Gacy, the Zodiac Killer. I know we're in Europe. What the hell is that? Oh, it's just leaves. Okay, never mind. Alright, nothing there. Let's go. Yeah, so we weren't welcome through the front way, so let's try the back way. Maybe they'll be more uh, receptive to us. Or maybe this is really the front door. I don't know. Looks more like a front door to me. Miss I am Reed, you already told me at the intercom, and as I already told you, Mr. Felton is no longer a patient at the Center of the I Institute. Know. I came here voluntarily, outside the Institute. So what do you want? I am personally re-examining your case. Causes, reagents, I strongly believe there are alternative ways and probably other experiments that are worth a try. I am fighting with the Institute to recognize there are other adequate remedies for your husband's pathology. Oh, no, please. I'm just assisting him. I'm his nurse. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, it's okay. I suppose you want to talk to him. Thank you. I apologize for the darkness, but Mr. Felton's sight has been damaged and immensely compromised because of the disease. Anyway, I am Gloria. Oh, and please, refrain from smoking inside. Mr. Fountain hates the smell of smoke. Sorry. Yet there are two other cigarettes in the ashtray, probably two other stressed out therapists that came in here and got doomed. Okay. Please, this way. Oh my god. Bad habit. Smoking? Yes, such a shame. You should quit. You have no idea how bad this is for you. Not only for your health, but it's also very expensive. Money and time wasted. I have so much to do every day, I couldn't waste time with such a bad habit. Do you assist Mr. Felton all day? Oh no, from midday to 8 p.m. Then I go back home. I live near here. If needed, he can contact me with a pager, but that's not often. His wife takes care of him when I'm off. Pager? What can you tell me about her? I met her just a couple of times. She's usually out or locked in her bedroom when I'm here. Let's say they don't seem to get along. I didn't know. But, you know, when she's home, she listens to the same music, the same song, over and over. I'm afraid to stray off the beaten path here. So let's just follow this lady for story's sake. And for our health. Okay. This is really is a big mention. They're referencing pages and smoking being expensive. Are we sure this is the 70s? This way, please. And Mr. Felton will be here in a few minutes. Okay. Uh, explore, starting with this wonderful magical painting here. The coronation of a virgin. The young girl gazes into the sky above with stunned eyes and a light hits her. But something is out of place. From the dark sky that threatens storm are descending the hideous hands of stranger creatures. This picture makes me feel uncomfortable. Everything makes you feel uncomfortable in this setting. It's got a desk. And, like the investigator we are, we will pull the drawers open and read the note. Or a newspaper article. 
Thankfully, she can translate for us. Mr. and Mrs. Felton's farm, Rossagallo, closes. Danger of contamination. Wyman and the Feltons indicated for alleged criminal activity against consumers and production employees. October 2nd, 1971. The Rossagallo farm, pride of the Gallows, closed due to suspected contamination and has been reported that many products have been infected by toxic pollen that could be the cause of severe parasitosis. Parasitosis. The owner, Ariana Gallo, top right, her husband, the notary Richard Felton, bottom right, professor, and company's partner, partner Albert Elias Wyman, large picture, are under investigation. The latter has been allegedly accused by Felton himself of having used the company to carry out pharmaceutical experiments, taking advantage of corporate funds at his will. Indeed, the warning came from the residents at the, at the company's headquarters, the Ashmans, who managed the building and supervised the harvesters, the sisters of the adjoining co convent. Photo. Among the reported symptoms, painful ulcers, vomiting, proliferation of parasites, and in some cases, keratosis photosensitivity. Uh, following the heavy allegations, both the Feltons and the Ashmans received numerous threats from Wyman himself, who has been removed from the Order of Physicians today. Wyman stated he was shocked by the charges and pointed his finger to his former business partner, Richard Felton. He personally funded me. It is worth noticing that Felton himself, like his father, promoted and funded the Phenoxol Project, a drug for which Wyman himself was nominated for the prestigious Medicine Award in 1957, but that was retired from the market a few years, few years later due to the disastrous side effects. Meanwhile, even at Felton's house, which was used as location for product distribution, the activities ceases. It's a double plural there. It's a bit weird. As a result of this scandal, the Ashmans and Felton's also broke off any kind of relationship. As a matter of fact, the Ashmans claimed a substantial refund for the damage they suffered because even their children had been infected and, as a consequence, used as unaware test subjects. Uh, you damn son of a bitch. See what they write about me on the news? You wanted to tarnish me, but I'll get back at you. Oh, I surely will. Starting with your daughter. Do you believe she doesn't know who her father is? I'm sure he would be glad to know that she is his daughter. Sure, you've got some balls. Take your own responsibilities. What am I saying? Balls? You never got balls. Oh my. Uh, I can't seem to scroll down any farther than this. I've tried to scroll down, but it's not working, so I'm guessing that's the end of the article anyway. Uh, his children were used as unaware test subjects. Okie dokie. Charming. Thought it made you feel uncomfortable. Well, it would be too easy, wouldn't it? I believe in people's willpower. Everything else is not God, but an aptitude or mankind's cruelty. This is the kind of fairy tale I prefer at my age. When you're worn out from an incurable disease, you start having some doubts. Why is there so much life in such small but lethal creatures? An arbiter, that's all we need. For what? It's wrong and crazy. It's human nature. That same nature in which we are equals to those ants eating each other. But pardon me, I forgot my manners. Please sit down. Dr. Reed, I suppose. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Felton. Pleased to meet you. So you already met Gloria? Yes, she let me in. She's a great reference, extremely hardworking, but back to us. I don't recall seeing beautiful doctors like you at the Institute, Dr. Reed. <laughs> I am flattered, Mr. Felton. I arrived at the Institute just a few months after you left. And you left because... Inadequacy of the sanitary treatments within the structure. That's right. And in a few words? In a few words. They didn't know how to treat my case, and they left me there to die. But it seems that other issues took over. I once or twice refused to go through exams. Mr. Felton, is there anything I can do for you? Oh, Gloria, yes. See if Dr. Reed needs anything. Oh, no. May I offer you a cup of tea or coffee? Espresso? No, thank you. As you wish. How about you, Mr. Felton? No, thank you. I'll keep entertaining our guest. You can go now. You're diagnosed? 1958? Yes, indicatively. Some friends and I contracted the disease while traveling to Egypt, and it got worse. In addition to the disease, the first exam showed some inconsistency. Some hormonal deficiency? 
Overdose of non-prescribed drugs, opiates... Anoxone? Wasn't it recalled in the mid-60s? Doctor, don't you think that nowadays there are ways to obtain drugs without any prescription? Uh, I believe so. According to your file, you still receive your disability pension. Even better, it seems that the beneficiary is your wife, Ariana Gala. Exactly. She's the one who takes care of me when Gloria is off. How about your daughter? My daughter? Celeste has never come back home. Disappeared. She was adopted, am I right? Mm. The investigators confirmed that she intentionally left. They never suspected a kidnapping since there was no ransom request. How about Weeman? Wasn't he a suspect? A flash in the pan, an idiot who brought confusion by sending warnings and threats. And her birth parents? Dr. Reed, young girls often decide to just go. And this is what my daughter decided to do with... Jennifer. What did you say? At times, you'd call her Jennifer. No, my Mr. daughter... Mr. Fulton, what has really happened to you, daughter? I just told you! How about the off-the-record version? I am not sure where you're trying to go with this, but I won't tolerate... I don't have the strength for this now! I know you've been trying to forget her, but this picture might help you to. What is this? Where did you get this picture? Isn't she your daughter? Celeste, or has you called her? Jennifer? I asked you a question! The back of the picture says Jennifer. There is no Jennifer! You thought I was stupid, didn't you, Mr. Felton? Do you... Do you really think I'd come here without knowing what I'm Who talking about? Who are you, and why did you come here? Did you come to my home to threaten me with your condescending Threatening tone? you? So maybe I should ask your wife, then. She's not home. Seems like she is. Mr. Felton, I just talked to the director of the Institute on the phone. They have never heard of Dr. Reed. She is not what she claims to be. Well, Miss Reed, if that is your real name, your time here has ended. Please, leave my property. Miss Gloria will escort you out. Please follow me. Mr. Felton, please, tell me what you did to your daughter. Good evening. Follow me. You well, know if, anyone's, if anyone's got balls, it's this lady. She should be fine surviving this horror story. How do I do what? How do you even sleep at night? You use people's lives regardless of the pain you cause. The Feltons have been through a lot. And they are good people. Gloria, a young girl disappeared. We all know the story, unfortunately. A burden that the Feltons will have to carry for the rest of their lives. Celeste just left them. If that was the case, there was a motivation behind it. And it threatened her life. Alright, so we just rocked up to a residence with a fake name, accusing an old man. With no backup, all by ourselves. Jeez, how did you think it was gonna go? Not brilliantly. It's night time. The nurse is leaving. Oh god. Hoping to accomplish. Oh god. Here we go. Amazing security for a mansion. Stealthless Biatch.
Would you like to save? Uh, yeah, that's a great idea. Please, thank you. Look for the mirrors with the metronome from now on. You can save your game only by using those. Oh dear. Flashlight. Some areas of Felton Mansion are really dark. It may be difficult to find your bearings. But remember to turn it off if you do not want to stick out. Good idea. Okay, I can see just fine. Well, there's a lot of things to investigate here. Investigate the disappearance of Celeste. Alright. Maybe the answer's here and we can just go home. Identify, identify the source of the tune. Meet Mrs. Felton. I don't know. If she's as daring as her husband. Maybe that'd be a good thing. Maybe we should just smoke just for the hell of it. We've got a picture here. Looks like the Feltons. December 68. Happily together. Uh, we can check our collectibles, right? Uh, my sweet Jennifer. Dr. Rosemary Reed, researcher therapist. Supposedly that's fake. Oh cool, there's a medical report. Right, and it's translated for us. Excellent. Let's uh, quickly go through this. Uh, patient, Mr. Richard Felton, sex M. Uh, born on February 16, 1920, 1958, first diagnosed symptoms. I'll read through this really quickly. Emergency hospitalization. The patient complains of severe pain in the abdomen due to many diarrhea and vomiting discharges. He seeks emergency assistance. An ambulance took him from home to undergo extensive clinical examinations. Suspected ulcerated parasitosis. Cytosis. Uh, X-ray exam abdomen at first glance by direct abdominal radiography. The patient reports evident hydro air levels in the abdominal cavity with abundant kidney, liver, and intestine ab abscess drainage uh, where unusual formations are noticed parasitosis uh, the affected areas are full blown to a common microorganism damaged but unusually intact after the removal of skin cysts there is evidence of proliferation of multiple parasites moths characterized by unusual cellular activity suspected cause in the affected areas blood test and urinalysis blood tests show a significant increase of the values in leukocytes and inflammation indices indices Possible correlation with a suspected ulcerated parasitosis, testosterone deficiencies, and marked presence of estrogen, potentially unrelated to the disease. Urinalysis shows traces of blood and follicles, like larvae. Uh, overdose of drugs, opiates, and surplus of unapproved psychodrugs slash antidepressants without prescription. Monoamine, monoamine oxidase inhibitor. I am so not good at saying these medical terms. I suspect abuse of phenox phenoxyl, which was the drug that they had formulated and was recalled in the 60s because of the harmful side effects. Diagnosis. Patient with UPP, ulcerative proliferative parasitosis, which shows alteration of the organs involved in the difficult general clinical picture. Due to the large number of affected areas and the delicate state of health, the inefficiency of surgical intervention is inferred. External causes and hypothesis of contamination risk are considered subject to further testing. Antiemetics, antibiotics, and cortisone are prescribed at the Dr. G. Accardi. Dear Dr. Richard Felton, with this letter we inform you about the urgency to undergo treatment with our specialists who are usually in charge of following patients affected by debilitating diseases like the one you have. It is understood that your refusal to undergo psychological therapy seems clear to us and, since we understand your choice, we encourage you to go through other in-depth analysis at our institute. Whether you are unable to communicate with us, we invite you to tell your wife Ariana Gallo, which is your designated helper and beneficiary as well, to contact us. According to the diagnostic criteria provided by the regional health system to our institute, we are obliged to request you once again not to be absent on the designated dates for the next requested medical exams full body x-ray urological examination regards the doctor g accardi got the lost child celeste felton who disappeared october 14 1971 so the three years after that photo was taken this one uh we've read the article we've seen the picture and there's a movie poster events oh cool she will uh, i guess this is just a summary of everything right Nice, nice, nice. Oh, we got different pictures as well of the characters. Or, oh, sorry, animations. Right, we've already got a lot of summary there. Uh, we got to identify the source of the tune, meet Mrs. Felton, and investigate on the disappearance of Celeste. Let's quickly check out these drawers. Maybe there's more things to investigate. Ooh, what was that? I'm guessing that means smash. Oh, diversions. 
I can put it in my inventory. Diversion items are used to slow down or distract an enemy. You can take up to a maximum of three. Once you've picked up a diversion item, you can equip it from the inventory or via quick selection. There are different types of diversions. This is a throwable. Uh, and there's placeable ones. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, let's grab that. Because a snow globe could potentially save our life here. Sneak, 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 sneak. Another diversion, a glass. Oh, what else? Man, I'm nervous already. Got some Resident Evil 7 vibes. We're in a mansion. What's this? This is a power generator, better not to turn off the lights. Yes, let's not announce our presence. Defense, thanks to defense items, you can hit your enemy if he has reached and stopped you. He? What kind of enemies are we going to be facing? When your opponent is about to kill you, you can use a defense item by following the instructions on the screen. A defense item can be used just once, and you can only bring one at a time. If you don't have any defense items with you, you won't be able to escape from your enemy's deadly grip. Uh, yep. Yeah, yeah, please, can I grab this? Thank you. Alright, we've got some insurance. Let's carry on. What else we got? What's over here? Looks like a hiding spot. Okay, cool. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. We can hide under couches. Probably other things as well, maybe behind curtains or something. Let's just check over here. Okay, it's good to get reacquainted. Uh, not reacquainted. Let's get acquainted with the controls and uh, possible items. Good little tutorial area this is. Nothing in that drawer, just some towels. Probably shouldn't be running around in our heels. Uh, unfortunately, we're already full up on defense items, but I'll remember that to come back here if I have used it. Oop. Let's just leave it on the floor, because why not? God, we are such a nosy park, aren't we? Oh, no, wait, there was something down there. Probably another diversion. Good. That's up to three. Beep. God. Okay, we've found absolutely nothing on Celeste. We do have to go into the mansion after all.